Hello, so today's word is novelty. And the reason why I've gone with this is from Hannah Witten's latest one is because of my hair. And basically I searched up novelty because I know that it means something to do with new, but I didn't know the exact definition. And I literally just Googled novelty and it came up with the quality of being new, original or unusual. This hair is new, original and unusual for me anyway. I wanted to get my hair cut in London because I knew I would have time and a better selection of people, if that makes sense. And I messaged my cousin who often gets her haircut when she's in London and she has very very similar hair to me. Hers is a bit thicker but in terms of style it's exactly the same so I figured she'd probably know where to go and she recommended this one and it's not very far and you had to book online and for my time slot and for the cheapest price, there were like three different people I could choose. And the one I chose was literally only because that was the best time for me. And I went in and I was a bit unsure about everything. First of all, it wasn't labeled very clearly. So I was sort of stood outside looking around trying to make sure I was in the right place. And then I went up to the desk and obviously there's lots of noises going on and we're all wearing masks and there's glass screen. So I had to repeat my name about four times, but they found my booking and they were like, sit down. Cause obviously I was early. And then after about 20 minutes, they came and collected me, which was basically on time for the actual appointment. And they brought me to my station, sat down on the chair and my hairdresser came up to me. It was really hard to understand her just because of the amount of noise that was going on. Plus obviously every everyone was wearing masks, but I sort of figured it out. And she was basically asking, what do you want? And I said to her, I'm completely indifferent. I just want the dead ends off. And I knew that quite a bit of it was dead. And she was like, okay. And the way I had my hair, if you've watched this channel for long enough, you'll know that I flick it side to side and it was over on that side. And so she was like, oh, I can give you like, a framing on that side. And I was like, cool. And then she was saying that I should get highlights. And I was like, nope. Well, I didn't say that obviously. And she didn't force me. She was just like, I think highlights would look really good on you. You can make an appointment and get that done. I immediately knew I was not gonna get highlights. <laughs> this is so funny because I'm so used to these being long enough that they would tuck behind, but now they just don't, they don't stay there. Anyway, then she left and someone else came up to me and was like, I'm gonna wash your hair now. And I was like, okay. And I hadn't seen like, you know, the sinks that they wash hair in. And I was really worried that they weren't gonna wash my hair. And I had purposely left it long to not wash my hair so that they would. So I was very relieved when they did. And it was really nice. And they asked if I wanted to put my feet up and then I did. And then at the end they were like, do you want a head massage? And I was like, absolutely. So that was really nice. And then they brought me back to my station and my hairdresser asked me which way I parted. And I said, well, it changes. So as you can see, she parted it down the middle and then she started cutting and she cut a lot. She cut a lot off and it took a really long time and she kept going over it to make sure everything was exactly level, which I greatly appreciated because it's always really frustrating to me when I sit and watch them cut my hair and you can just see that they've missed bits and it's not quite even. So I really enjoyed that. And then after she'd spent a really long time cutting it, she told me she was gonna blow dry it and then wave it. And again, I was kind of like, I don't really know what she's saying, but sure. And what she did was she straightened it with a blow dryer and then kept cutting more things again to make sure it was all even and everything. And then she used used a straightener to curl it and it was a bit more curly before and I didn't realize she meant curls like that I just thought she meant kind of what it looks like now a bit more wavy but when I finished it was probably like you know, nice curls. But what I really like about that is very often when I go to a hairdresser, they'll do whatever they do and then they'll straighten it, which I always ask for. And then they'll ask me if I like it. And I don't know because my hair straight looks so different to my hair curly. And like, it is just gonna look different and it still will with this, but it kind of gives me a little bit more of an idea of the height because obviously it bounces up quite a bit and also just the general shape. Obviously my hair will never be this neat naturally, but I feel like I know a little bit more what it's gonna look like. However, these, I do quite like them, but they're gonna cause a lot of issues because you can't pin them back. I'm so used to like taking these bits and just tying them at the back, but I'm gonna have to grab like two separate clips. And also I haven't tried to tie it up, but yeah, that's like, you can already see, which is mostly fine. But although the one thing I did think of while I was sat in the chair was I got headshots about six months ago and I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to get new ones because my hairstyle's a bit different, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Anyway, I, really like this. Do you know what? I feel a bit more grown up. And because I am so indifferent about my hair, hairdressers very rarely do something new or novel. It only took 10 minutes, but we're back at the start. So it was really nice that when I told her that she had free reign, she actually took that as an opportunity. Like this is never something I would have said I wanted, but it's, it's nice to have. Anyway, somehow I've managed to relate my haircut to November nonsense. I hope it wasn't too much of a stretch for you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!